This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Recently, I got this 5 meters long programmable and addressable IP67 tube waterproof Will Volt WS2811 RGB LED strip from Sun Founder for only $23.99 with free shipping. This RGB LED strip has a total of 150 addressable LEDs, 30 LEDs per meter. Each and every LED in this strip can be individually programmed using a microcontroller board like Arduino, ESP8266, ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, STM32, etc. using only one pin on your controller board. Since this is my first time using the WOS2811 LED strip, so first I'm going to start with the Arduino and then later I will use this LED strip with other controller boards as well. I will make a complete series covering how to control the WS2811 LED strip using Android Bluetooth application, IR remote controller, Wi-Fi, long-range radio transceiver modules like LoRa and NRF24L01, etc. So consider subscribing and press the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Anyway, as usual before, I'm going to share with you its technical specifications it's interfacing with Arduino, library installation and different programs. First, I'm going to share with you the final test results and afterward, I will explain everything else. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I'm using my 4S lithium ion battery pack to power up the entire LED strip and the Arduino board. You can watch my previous video if you want to make the same lithium ion battery pack or you can use a 12 volt adapter. I have already uploaded the example number one code. So let's go ahead and power up the LED strip and Arduino board. Example number two. Example number three. Example number four.
example number 5 Example number 6 Example number 7 Example number 8 If you don't like any of these effects, you can also try the Adafruit library or the Pixels library or you can write your own unique code and make some cool animations. Anyway, now I'm going to explain all the other important things. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from SunFounder and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is a 5 meters long programmable and addressable IP67 tube waterproof 12 volt WS2811 RGB LED strip. This RGB LED strip has a total of 150 addressable LEDs, 30 LEDs per meter. Each and every LED in this strip can be individually animated using a controller board like Arduino. ESP8266, ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, STM32, etc. using only one pin on your controller board. The operating voltage is 12 volt and at 7.2 watts per meter and the chip model is WOS2811. There are 10 WOS2811 ICs per meter. The entire LED strip is covered with silicon tube which makes it IP67 waterproof. This LED strip has got connectors on both the ends. This way multiple LED strips can be connected without any issues. The red wires are 12 volt wires. The green wire is the DN wire and the white wires are the ground wires. Every three LEDs can be cut without damaging the rest of the strip to help you meet different size needs. For more technical specifications, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The data in or DN pin on the WS2811 LED strip is connected with the D5 pin on the Arduino. And the plus 12 volt and ground pins are connected with the 12 volt external power supply. In my case, I'm using a 4S lithium ion battery pack. And I'm using a 5 volt regulator power supply to power up the Arduino board. As you can see, the output and ground legs of the 7805 voltage regulator are connected with the VN and ground pins of the Arduino. For the easy interfacing, I am going to solder this DC female power jack with the red and white wires. I am also very thankful to SunFounder for sending me this high quality soldering iron kit. Finally, I connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. As usual, before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you install the fast LED library. To install this library, simply go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Search for the fast LED. As you can see, I have already installed this library. After installing the library, you can start with the ready-made example codes. As you can see, there are more than 20 example codes. You can check these one by one and you will get the idea how the code works. Let's go ahead and open one of the example codes. Once you open the program, enter the pin number which is connected with the data in pin on the LED strip. Next, enter the number of LEDs you want to control. Specify the brightness and update the chip type if in case your LED strip has a different chip. Make same changes in all the other example codes. I have already shared with you 
test results of some example codes. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.